So now that we know how to find oxidation numbers, we're going to use them to determine what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Remember, if something is oxidized, we know that means it has lost electrons. Okay. We're also going to call it the reducing agent. When something is reduced, we know that it has gained electrons. And we're going to call it the oxidizing agent. When something is reduced, it gains electrons, causing the other thing to lose electrons or be oxidized. So it's the thing that causes the other thing to be oxidized. So it's the oxidizing agent. Or just remember that they're opposite. So let's look at an example. Okay, magnesium, well first let's go ahead and assign oxidation numbers. Magnesium is an element, so zero. Sulfur, zero. Magnesium plus two and sulfur minus two. So you can see that magnesium went from zero to plus two and sulfur went from zero to minus two. So magnesium has lost two electrons and sulfur has gained two electrons. So we're going to say that magnesium, by losing two electrons, was oxidized. Sulfur gained electrons, so sulfur was reduced. Okay, magnesium, because it was oxidized, is called the reducing agent. And sulfur, because it was reduced, is called the oxidizing agent. Let's look at another example, maybe a little more complicated. So here, I'm going to go ahead and assign oxidation numbers. Copper is 0 because it's an element. Hydrogen is 0 because it's an element. Plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 1. So you can see that copper is changing and that hydrogen is changing. The copper has lost two electrons and the hydrogen has gained an electron. So we say that copper is oxidized and it is the reducing agent I'm going to abbreviate here and we say that H is reduced but we say that HCl is the oxidizing agent so when you talk about what's being oxidized and reduced you just give the element okay but when you say what the agent is, you give the entire substance. So copper and HCl. Let's try another example. So we'll go ahead again and sign oxidation numbers. Because we'll zero, right? I got a plus one, a minus two, so a plus five. If you need to take a little longer with those, take your time and do it. Minus two and plus four minus 2 and plus 4, minus 2 and plus 1. Okay, So we can see that tin is changing, and we can see that nitrogen is changing, and the other things aren't. Tin has lost 4 electrons, and nitrogen has gained an electron. So tin is oxidized, and it is the reducing agent. Okay, and nitrogen is reduced, and we say HNO3, the entire substance now, is the oxidizing agent. Okay, and that's all there is to that.